On December 18th, 2021, the James Webb Space Telescope will launch from the Guiana Space Center in French Guiana. This is a really big deal. This will be the largest telescope ever put in space. And so right off the bat, that is a big win for, for James Webb. This telescope will help us to see into a whole new stretch of time and space. Webb can study the planets in our own solar system. It can study planets around other stars, and then it can study galaxies, as I say, way out billions of light years away. How does it do all this? Well, James Webb sees mostly in the infrared, opposed to the Hubble telescope, which mainly sees visible light. Being able to see in the infrared is important because as a star gets older, it shifts from emitting visible light, which you and I can see, to a slower wavelength of infrared, which the human eye can't pick up. This is a process called redshifting. Some of the oldest stars, planets, and galaxies are only emitting in the infrared, which means we've never been able to see them until now. Not only will this telescope be able to see far away, but it will also help us research things that could have a really big impact here at home. We can learn things about the atmospheres of planets around other stars and study their composition to look for interesting features like is there water in the atmosphere of that planet? Might there potentially be water oceans and so on, which gets into the question of whether other planets could be habitable once this telescope is in space, it can do some pretty cool stuff. But getting it there, that's a whole other challenge. 21 foot diameter mirror and a tennis court sized sun shield. You know, people call it an origami telescope or a transformer telescope. It all has to be folded up in a much more compact configuration so that it can fit inside the fairing on the top of a rocket and then ride to space, at which point, all of that folding has to be undone. Webb is set to launch in less than a month and will travel about a million miles away from Earth before undergoing a commissioning period that takes about six months, where it will cool off, unfold, and get into the proper position to start taking photos of the universe as we've never seen it before. Meteorologist Michaela Lucero, First Coast News, on your side.